Welcome back. Today I'm going to make these mushrooms. The stand and the stem is out of maple and the top is a sea biscuit. So when Robin and I were on a road trip, we stopped in at the Sea Lion Caves and in the gift shop she found some sea biscuits. I had done a couple of these a while ago where I just made the stem and used that as the base, but thought it'd be cool to do a stand with it too because they were a little bit top heavy, but I think they came out great. I did three of them, so let's get started. Help support the companies that support our community. No, I'm not using mustard to glue these together. It's a uh, tight bond too. I just put it in this container and the little cap on it keeps it clean and it's an easy way to store it. So with these, after I drill it out with the Forstner bit, you just put a little bit of glue, it goes a long way. So you just kind of put it in there with a brush. Try not to get it on the outside of the burl where you're gonna see it. And I didn't notice one thing if after you take it off the lathe, you have that center point from the live center. So if you take a little drill bit and drill into that before you cut that end off or sand it off, you'll be able to put a little dowel in there and it's it'll be a little better way to hold it. I had one of them come off and I ended up having to drill a little uh, hole in the base and the stem for it. But just put a little bit of glue in there and it, wor it works pretty good. But I would definitely, if I'm going to do another one or if you're going to do it, I would do it with a dowel. It'll hold it on there better. I'll get all these glued on and then we'll come back and put some finish on it. I let them set up for a couple hours before putting the finish on. I'm going to use Howard's beeswax on these too, but I'm going to put it on a with a foam brush because the the burl part is really porous, and I kind of want to be a little bit accurate. I don't want to get glue up or the finish up on all the way up to the top of the stem because I need that clean to glue them on. But I just put this on with the brush pretty liberally, and then I'll wipe it off with a paper towel. And actually, after that, I'll take my air compressor and blow any little bits of. Uh, wax that dry in there because it'll dry down in those the little burl burls nubs well, I'll get all these cleaned up and I'm going to do around the side too where I sanded it really brings out the color in it just it's beautiful I love this finish and it's super easy to apply
After I got all the wax cleaned off, I'm going to go ahead and glue the shells on. And I'm using Gorilla Glue, and the reason is because it expands. So the inside of these shells are hollow in there. So the Gorilla Glue will go up inside and open, spread out a little bit and hold them on a little better. There's little chunks in there too that are rattling around, and it'll, it'll bond to all of those. So I put a little bit on the stem, on the top of the stem. And then I tried to get as much as I could inside the, the little cap there, you know. I mean, it was, I didn't get carried away, but I took the paintbrush and just brushed in a little around the rim so it'll expand and really hold it well. Uh, like I mentioned earlier uh, about putting the dowels in, the I had one of them break off, the little one there, and so I ended up putting a dowel in it. I just drilled it out and... And stuck it in there so definitely if you're gonna gonna do a mushroom like this um, with a base I would would definitely put a dowel in it it's gonna hold it a lot better the ones I did before actually just came down and I made the bases of them a little bit bigger so they stand on their own but if you're gonna do it this way definitely use the dowel so I'll get all these glued on and well get them all finished it should take a couple hours for them to set up There we go. And again, they're out of maple. This one is the smallest one and it's five inches tall. And then the larger one is, or the largest one is eight inches tall. So if you're looking for them online, again, they're called Sea Biscuits. I'll put a link down below in the description where I found some. But I found a lot of other shells online that would make great mushrooms. Um, some really cool stuff. I even thought, you know, using sand dollars, you could actually do like a whole little grove of them that might look really cool. Um, as far as size, if you're gonna gonna buy some, I would buy the smaller ones. The, this one's five inches, and it's just it's kind of top heavy. Not that with the base it's gonna fall over, but I think the smaller ones look a little better too. But it was a fun project, and these are just some pieces I had left over from another project, and all of it together probably took me about two hours to do do all three of them minus the waiting for glue to dry. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the like button, and we will see you next week. Take care. Mm -hmm.